Tony? You shouldn't be in here. And you shouldn't be off risking your life. And how do you know what I've been doing? Tony, I know. You're gonna get yourself killed. Please stop it. Okay, I promise. I'll stop. I'll put my head in the sand, stick out my ass, and not think about what's going on around us. Come on, Tony. You believed in me before. What's changed? I'm finally doing something worthwhile. I don't know what else to do. Tony, what in the hell were you doing out there? Hey, Rhodey. Uh, <clears throat> not now, okay? Uh, let's not get into all that stuff. You know, the planes, the missiles, the dogfight, the military intervention. Oh, will you please stop it? I just worry about you. I'm not the problem here. It's the Magia. They're the ones supplying criminals with weapons. No, the problem, Tony, is you're fighting a war and you're not a soldier. You're damn right I'm not. I'm an army. And I don't care how rich Magia made me. I'm gonna bury him. You said you had something for us, sir? It's beautiful. A work of art. I'll send the rest of it to the labs. I want you to get started on it right away. So, Rory, you gonna be my wingman? I'm gonna keep you the hell away from my men. That's what I'll do. Good. I work better alone anyway. Where's this armory? Somewhere underground. It's gonna be tough to find in this sandstorm. Tough for you, man. Sir, my senses indicate a weapons transport vehicle nearby, preparing to leave. Oh boy, I really was not looking forward to this one. This is probably my least favorite level in the entire game. It is... it is soul-crushing. So we're at the weapon transport, we, but we can't blow it up because we need it to progress through the game. It doesn't tell you this, so if you blew it up already, then you would have gotten a game over, and you have no idea why. Don't lose him, Tony. Only one chance. So the idea is that this weapons transport is going to lead us to the Magia Factory headquarters. Let's uh let's think about why that's bullshit for a second. Let's start with the logic of the other game. If we use that, Jarvis and Tony would have no issue finding the underground factory because they would just put it up on the radar. But let's assume that for some reason they couldn't do that. There's only one pathway through this entire canyon. It is a single, linear dirt road, with no deviations whatsoever. It literally goes straight from that village we were just at all the way to the Magia factory with no alternate routes. So assuming we fucking blew up the truck, Tony could just follow the giant dirt road and the path of enemies and weapons leading to the factory. Because there's a ton of tanks and guys with guns, on the pathway to the Magia factory. So, it's not like it would have been hard to find anyway. If you try to do the sensible thing and fly ahead to see what's in front of you, then the game gives you a game over because you left the truck behind. You can only get 100 meters away before it gives you a warning. In spite of the fact that you can still see it, and it's traveling on a linear dirt path, so it wouldn't be that hard to find again. Even assuming we lost complete sight of it, we could just we could just find it in a matter of seconds. You might notice I'm also just dicking around and not fighting anybody because you don't need to. The enemies pose almost no threat unless you stand completely still. And I do mean, like, completely still. If the game would have let me use my brain, we could have flown to our destination already, but because it refuses to do that, I'm going to be next to this truck for the next 10 minutes at least. At a couple points along the road, the truck inexplicably stops to get fuel and a ton of enemies attack you. You can see human soldiers among these enemies. Some of them are even around the truck you're escorting, so to speak. Which begs the question, is a human driving the truck? And if so, what the fuck are they doing? If there is a human being in that truck, do they think maybe it might be a bad idea to lead Iron Man to their hideout? Also, we're wearing the original Iron Man suit that appeared in the first Iron Man comic, but that's not important. It doesn't do anything special. I would like to remind everyone again that this version of Iron Man received it better reviews than the 7th Gen counterpart. Better. Do you see what I'm doing here? Do you feel how depressed I am through the screen? Because you should. 
If you don't, then they must have hooked something up wrong or something. Sir, the truck is getting away. No, it's not, Jarvis. It's literally right Sir, behind me. The truck is getting away. Jarvis. Alright, so... Because you see what the rest of this level is going to be like, and I'm not exaggerating, this is the whole rest of the level until the boss battle. We're going to skip ahead. Just going to fast forward through all this shit. Your command frequency, sir. Shall I relay a feed to you? Do it. C Company, move right. Get moving, boys. Take them down. That's Scarlatti. Patch me through. In process, sir. make you rich you should have never fired me you know what I'll do a better job this time that's over with. In case you're wondering what that music was, it was from the game Iron Man and Exo Man of War in Heavy Metal. Yeah, that's a mouthful. What just happened? Mr. Scarlatti appears to be shielded, sir. Attacks are ineffective. That's a hell of a reach, Scarlatti. Mr. Scarlatti appears to have augmented himself with synthetic muscles, sir. I've lost contact with Mr. Scarlatti, sir. Damn it, where'd he go? Unknown. Scanning. Find him. Okay, I'm not a genius like you, Tony, so bear with me, but did you try looking at the ceiling? So this is a really depressing boss battle. Whiplash here only has two attacks. He extends his arms at us. Well, not his arms, his whips. Or he jumps up to the ceiling. That's it. Those are the only two things he can do. You might notice my health is draining even though I'm only using the repulsors. I don't know why this is. I have no clue. Maybe during boss fights, every attack you do just takes away from your health, but that seems a little bit ridiculous, because if you get hit by the boss, then you would just die. I can't believe you're working with these lowlifes, Scarlatti. We don't judge our clients. It's not good for business. You could learn a thing or two from us. Not anymore. Contact lost, sir. I guess I'd be afraid of you, too. This boss fight is really basic, my very first 3D video game boss fight stuff. I'm not sure if they just had no time, because I want to believe they tried, and a lot of the other parts of this game make me think they tried. 
But this entire level is just horrendous beyond all reason. Tony. You ever think about joining the military? Nah, I don't like taking orders. So what now? I'm not done, Rudy. I'm just getting started. <laughs> 